Hey, what's there, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. This tutorial is being made under the assumption that you already have all the needed programs and they work correctly. If you don't, you can find Tupper's Mega Tutorial on YouTube, which is linked in the description below. You need to have Blender installed with MMD tools and CATS tools and the correct version of Unity with the correct version of VRChat SDK for Unity in order to proceed with this tutorial. There will be links to all these programs in the description if you just need to download them without a tutorial. For this tutorial, I recommend downloading the official version of MMD from its home site, which will be linked in the description below as well. The reason I recommend this is because inside the model folder that comes with the program are default models that have correct bone placement, which is ideal for conversion of motion into Unity. The model you use in Blender is only used to convert a motion to Unity, not for using in VRChat. Alright, in Blender click on Import Model on the MMD Tools panel. Find and load one of the default models I just mentioned. Now first click these checkboxes at the bottom left corner of Blender. Rename Bones, apply Bone Fixed Axis, and make sure the rename is set to the internal dictionary so that everything is in English. Unity isn't multilingual. Just in case you want to know, to zoom in, you can use the middle mouse wheel. To rotate around the model, click and hold the middle mouse wheel while moving the mouse. And to pan your view, first press the shift key followed by the middle mouse button and then you can pan your view in Blender in case you want to see the model better. Now that the model is in Blender, click on the import button that is under the motion text. You can find various motions on sites like YouTube, DeviantArt, and Google, as well as some Japanese sites like Bullroll and Nego Nego. Once you have the motion you would like to see in Unity imported onto your model in Blender, Press the play button at the bottom of the program to watch the motion and make sure it's working properly with your model. This is important because some motions are poorly made with models that have an incorrect bone structure. Once you have verified the motion is working correctly, press the play button again to stop the preview and press the rewind to start button so that the model is standing at the default position. The next step is to export the model. At the top right corner of Blender click on file, select export near the bottom of the menu. Choose to export as FBX and then at the bottom left corner you will see six buttons called Empty, Camera, Lamp, Armat, Mesh, and Other. Hold your shift key down and click on Camera and Lamp to disable them. Don't need them. You can now export the model into your desired folder. And once exported, we're done with Blender. The next step is to drop the exported FBX file into Unity. To make things more organized, click on the Assets folder and right click in the folder to create a new folder for the model that will be dropped into Unity. I will name it for reference and then enter the folder. Next, open Explorer, find the FBX and drag it into Unity and into the newly made folder. If you follow these instructions to the letter, then you should be seeing a model looking just like this in your Unity. Whoops, I forgot something. And I had to take the video down and edit this part of the video to tell you that once you finish importing the FBX model, go to the top right and click on the rig button here and change the animation type from generic to humanoid. Click apply and once it is finished applying, click the animation tab right next to it. Scroll down, you will see these three checkboxes. Make sure to check all three and to change the based upon to original on all three. Next, make sure to rename the animation file right here next to the little play button icon because there is an illegal character in the name. Once you have renamed it, click the little arrow button on your model and scroll down with the mouse wheel to find a little icon that looks like a play button. Unity will ask if you want to apply your changes. You do. And after the changes are applied, we are ready to duplicate this animation file by holding the control key on your keyboard and pressing the D key for duplicate. Now we have the animation file ready to be used on any avatar you want to play with in VRChat. Now to actually make this animation file work for the avatar you want to use, there's just a few more steps to complete. In Unity, click on the following folders to find your custom override component, the item that you need to make your avatar move with your animation. You'll go from Assets to VRC SDK to Example to Sample Assets then to the animation folder. Click on the file with the plus sign in the bottom left corner called Custom Override. 
use Control plus D to duplicate it. Now take that duplicate, drag and drop it into the folder of the avatar you will be using for your animations with or VR chat. I am going to use this model that I have been using just for demonstration purposes. Do not use a model like this for VR chat because it is not optimized and to be blunt, it just sucks. Now assuming this model will be the one you turn into an avatar for VR chat, drag and drop it into the scene like this. Now at the right side here, you will click add component, type in DESC and you will see avatar descriptor. Click on that. Now take the custom override file we made, drag it over and drop it into these three sections. The two here in the avatar descriptor area, and the one here in the animator. Now simply click on this override controller and you should see this long list of emotes. In VR chat, emote 1 through 8 are your standard emotes that you use, such as dance, wave, clap, etc. If you drag and drop your newly made motion over, and drop it into one of these slots, it will replace those default motions with your new motion. And if you've done everything correctly and everything's up to date, you should be ready to test out your avatar in VR chat to see if it works properly.